Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm just going to be explaining how my paintings have dried because they weren't just straight off acrylic-based acrylic pores. Some of them had two different sets and some of them had three. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is this one. This is the True Ring Pore that I use the Classmix Ready Mix paint as well as the TTS. The difference between this one and some of the others is that I didn't actually use any Power Mounds PVA glue as my medium, as my like, a fluid medium, because I simply run out. Because of this, I just mainly use water, and the effects of it is pretty similar to any of the pores I've done in the past with the PVA glue. The only main things I have noticed is that, for, for a good start, is that the pigmentations have stayed, and you've also got the really definition of lines between this canvas. The main things I did see is that it has slightly cracked. I don't know if that's down to the fact there's a lot of acrylic paint on the canvas. It could be just down to the fact that it hasn't got any PVA glue in. I came across this idea because if I take this up, you can see all these skins that have been left over. The difference between the skins without using the PVA glue is that they crack a lot easier when you're peeling them off compared to just peeling them off with just water because they are just so much more fragile. So this skin here is out of a pot. This one has loads of layers on. As you can see, it's really a lovely piece of skin, acrylic skin that is. And then this one is a relatively new one. Yes, this one has more layers in it, but I just want to show you how fragile this is because literally you can just bend it and it just cracks off. Whereas this one's a lot more bendier because it has that PVA glue in. It's just something to know because obviously I do try to prevent wastage as much as possible. But if all you're getting off of the pores is unusable parts because it is so fragile, then I will revert back to my Panamans PVA glue if I do have to sacrifice the amount of pigmentation that you're going to get on the actual canvas but saying that let me just show you the one that i did with the new tts the color difference isn't that much i would have thought i think you can just about see both of them it is just slightly noticeable but i think if you put a top layer and seal it with either resin or setting spray i think that will just eradicate the issue the loss of pigmentation then again saying that i only used four colors with this one whereas i put about six in here so that could be cause of it it's not anything serious but it's because the amount of acrylic paint and pores that I do, I do want to make sure every single bit that pours off onto the baking parchment can be used in further experimentations. However, just using water, you can do it if you just want to do one pour and you don't have the, the materials for it. But yeah, that is the true pour, as you can tell. The good bit about it is that it did work and dry very well, apart from the slight cracking, but that's nothing too major. A setting spray can sort that out really easily. Are the Classmates Ready Mix Paint, the TTS, and also the Art Me Ready Mix Paint. Now this one is a much more later one. I do have the earlier version, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But I wanted to show you how much... The fact that I only used a little bit of the art me and that was mostly the black and you can see how like curative and unintentional these marks are. Like they're really quite something just because of the little separation. I only used a couple of drops of it as well, which is <laughs> really extraordinary. The fact that I can get these marks without having to use silicone. The cells that you can see are just from the mixture of the classmates, which can be changed just by making up the mixture and leaving it to the side for a couple of minutes or even up to an hour as long as you've got it sealed but it's just extraordinary how just a couple of drops can make these bits of separation and texture which is what I really like because it just adds to it if that wasn't there this would have been a nice acrylic pour but just the extra bits of texture adds to it I don't know how or if adding resin or a sealant on top of this canvas is going to if it's going to react or anything because that's my main worry I do need to seal the acrylic pores so that if water gets on them or if they get exposed to light they're not going to fade over time so that's something I do have to do an issue for 
that I have to find a way around. So maybe I'll, I'll have to do a test acrylic pour. So just using a tiny little bit of card, doing acrylic pour with all three mediums on them and then putting resin and a sealant on top just to see if it does react because I don't want to put it on like say this painting and then find out that it melts <laughs> melts away the acrylic paint. So that was the much earlier one. The one that I did firstly with all three mediums is this one. As you can tell, an explosion of texture and cells and I really do like it. You can see every single colour and pigmentation but it hasn't like separated so much that it's just ruined it and that's just become a blob. There are all these patterns and sections that you can see clearly from every single every single type of colour. So the art me ones that are the ones that are causing the separation are like the purples, the dark lilac and the light lilac and also the black. Whereas the white and the yellow were both the TTS as well as the red and the blue was the classmates. So you can see how they kind of interact. Even though I know that the blue from the classmates is very pigmented and it likes to stand out and take over the painting, it hasn't done in this. You can see in a rather large proportion, but it's not overly exposing and interrupting. It goes really well. And I'm kind of gutted that I didn't do this on a bigger canvas, but I did use a lot more of the Army medium. So that is something to bear in mind. I just need a little bit to make a reaction within one colour, but if I want to add in you know, the black, the la the dark lilac, and then the light lilac, I can make a interesting composition. Maybe try on a bigger canvas because there's so much going on. <laughs> I need to probably do a double pour. Or I have one set that's reacting onto another, or maybe a trimming pour, just to see what it looks like, <laughs> basically. And then lastly, this one was the very last acrylic pour that I did with two acrylic paints. This was just the classmates and TTS together with water, no PVA glue or anything. And as you can tell, it is, it's done, it's done its thing. <laughs> it's dried perfectly well. The pigmentation is still there, but like I said, sealants will be able to solve that because it is with water. The pigmentations are going to be higher, and more concentrated. But I do think after viewing all of the acrylic pores, I do want to keep using my PVA glue. I can go amiss without it. I can make art without it, but it's just the, the fact that the wastage, I don't want there to be much wastage. And also you can get more out of it of your acrylic paints because you're not adding as much in. I do prefer the three mixtures of the classmates, the TTS and the art me, because it's much more visually interesting and textured. That is something definitely to know. I do think I should go ahead and buy and purchase another set because I don't need actually that much art me within the mixture to make a reaction it will make the art me last a hell of a lot longer and it's so much more dramatic dr i want to say dramatized if that's even a word it's just uncontrollable art and i really like the fact that i'm just putting things into a pot the mixtures and then it's doing its own thing i have no control over it the only control i have over is the colors and the amount of mixture that i'm putting into the pot so anyway, that's a lot of talking. I hope you guys learnt something from it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. In the meantime, I won't be doing any more acrylic pours because I think this is a way forward until I get my art me set. I had the purple set last time. So I'm going to try with the red set because there is two different sets. Because you get four lots of paints within a set as well as a canvas. So um, that's probably the way I want to go for it, basically. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and you learned something from it. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye now.